This is James Holder for IFL TV in association with Macklin's Jim Bauer. No points for guessing where we are. With me, I've got Irishman Darren Cruz. First and foremost, congratulations on a good fight, Dar. Thanks very much, James. Uh, good to have fight, yeah. Uh, I've seen you in action before, prize fight middleweight. I know you're naturally super middleweight. What on earth possessed you to fight a light heavyweight tonight? You know, unfortunately, where I come from, uh, opportunities are, you know, are few and far between. And then when my manager, Mark Dunlop, rang me with uh, an opportunity to come back here and fight, you know, Tom Baker and Box Nation and a big event, you know, I just, you, you have to jump at these chances because unfortunately, where I come from, pro boxing is, is, is very limited. So, mm -hmm. I came back here, took a chance, um, didn't pay off. I gave it everything I had, went 10 rounds with a light heavyweight. As you said, I'm only a, a natural middleweight or super middleweight. And um, it was a good learning fight. I've never gone past four rounds in my life. I've just gone 10 there, so I'm gone from four to 10. Which was um, a big confidence booster for me, you know. So going in there doing really two weights above your natural weight. Exactly, yeah, you know. So mm -hmm. I took everything he had. He hit me with everything he had, and I hit him with everything I had. And um, you know, I'm, I'm hoping to want to bigger and better things. I'm hoping that this is going to put me on a, a better platform. It's going to set me up for bigger fights at super middleweight or middleweight. You know, this will probably be that I'll never fight a light heavyweight again. What did you think of Tom Baker? That's his first fight at light heavyweight. He's been at super middleweight his whole career so thus far. What did you think of him at light heavyweight? And, and do you think he's powerful that way? Yeah, he is. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a fast light heavyweight. You know, he carries a nice jab, very nice jab, very hard to get behind very it. Nice jab. Um, for a small guy like myself, when he jabs, it's very hard to get over that jab and, and get at him. But um, I think I did myself justice. He's a, he's a talented fighter. You know, he's 12 and 0 now. Um, I think at light heavyweight, he's going to cause a lot of problems. Mm. I mean, you had such a good amateur career, fantastic amateur pedigree. Why do you think that's not? Why have you not got the fights as a pro? Why? Why has it been so hard to get yourself motivated to, to even hit your weight properly? Well, it's not a uh, motivation. If somebody offered me a fight at middleweight, a good fight at middleweight, I'm on it. Mm. But this fight, I haven't fought since February. Um, this fight came along, it was just a big platform. That's what we were going for, it was a big platform. My manager, Mark Dunlop, you know, said to me, let's go back to England. I know he's, a, see, he's after coming up from super middleweight, so we said, look, mm. maybe he's a natural super middleweight as well. Mm. So we said we'd come back, we'd give it a crack and hope that it's going to build on for bigger and better things. And 10 rounds there. You know, hopefully an Irish title shot this year now, and that's my 10 rounds done there. It's, it's, it's a good confidence booster for me. I know Mark Dunlop very well from my time coming across to Ireland and stuff. He always tries to deliver opportunity for his fighters, so said that hopefully we can see you looking to claim this Irish title by the end of the year. Yeah, look, one thing I have to say about Mark, he's an absolutely fantastic manager. I drive him up the walls <laughs> a lot of the time, and uh, he's standing there behind you, but he'll laugh. I drive him up the walls trying to get big fights, and, uh, you know, he delivers for me. He, he, he makes promises, but he, he backs them up, which is you know a good thing for a manager. He's an unbelievable manager, and I tell you, Eddie Hearn, Frank Warren, watch out. This guy is coming all the way behind you. Well, listen, I look forward to hearing some news imminently regarding uh, an Irish title shot for yourself. Congratulations on a good fight. I would like to see you back at your normal weight, though, yeah. power, to be honest. Yeah, well, do. Well, that's no. I'll probably I'll never fight a light heavy again. Um, I'd be back down to super middle or middle now, and that's you know you, you have to have an eight rounder behind you to fight for titles. That's that done. That's 10 rounds done, so hopefully that's on to bigger and better things. Onwards and upwards. Thanks, give me a bit of time, Dal. Thanks I'll very much, James. I appreciate it. Big fan. Thank you.